Okay, everybody. Um, based on some recent forum discussions, um, there is a large interest, it seems, in people um, being able to have a, um, a hardware-based, um, very simple add-on for um, PPI control. PPI is um, what we call um, pulse per inch control. And uh, essentially what that does is uh, you need some sort of controller to measure the distance that um, um, the laser head has traveled uh, when it's making a cut. And the uh, controller will flash the laser for a certain uh, base period. And then when the distance is traveled again, um, whatever you set that to be in pulses per inch, um, the, uh, the, uh, la the controller will flash the laser again. And it'll do that repeatedly to make a continuous cut. And the advantage is that you get uh, a lot better laser control, um, and you get uh, uh, um, a lot better heat management in the cut. Uh, some of the results have shown. Now, I started this project with this uh, uh, counterboard, um, and the reason that I did the counterboard was to uh, alleviate the uh, pulse counting so that I could go to uh, much higher uh, pulse rates, uh, and that was specifically done so that I could uh, uh, do uh, high-speed engraving and high-speed flashing. I have an acousto-optic modulator, which is basically a Q-switch for the laser, um, and I wanted to be able to, to go much faster than I would be able to if I didn't have that. But uh, seeing the results, people wanted a very simple solution. So um, today I took a little bit of time and wired up a, an example with uh, uh, the Arduino Uno that I have. And uh, this is nothing more than um, an Atmega 328 um, chip, AVR chip. And um, it is fast enough to do um, the uh, counting that's needed uh, to do PPI during most common cuts that you would make. Um, you know, something on the order of less than a thousand millimeters a minute cut speed uh, or so. Um, I have to do a little bit of testing um, and I get to use my new Rigel oscilloscope to do that. My wife just got that for me for Christmas. Um, so anyway, I'll be able to test and see what the waveforms look like and how consistent they are. Um, and how fast we can really move the laser head with this uh, hardware and software solution. Now, um, in order to, you know, just very quickly implement this, I just unplugged my, um, the cable that goes from my smooth stepper, which is my uh, CNC controller to the Pololu driver board, um, and it just talks via this 25-pin uh, um, ribbon cable here. And um, so I just, uh, uh, took the step and direction pins as well as the laser control um, off of this and well, shared a ground between there as well um, and wired them into the digital reads or digital ends on here and then um, uh, connected the this red cable um, goes up to my laser power supply and that's uh, really the only connections I have to make um, the uh, end version will not be probably an Arduino, but I'll just take the chip off and set it up so that it'll, um, you know, basically be a homemade Arduino kind of thing. And um, it will have uh, a DB25 connector so that you can plug it directly in here. This is the common point for any uh, stepper-based uh, laser control. So it will just listen to the signals and pass the rest of them through to the steppers. And then um, what you do is just disconnect your laser end pin and connect that to whatever the, the, the appropriate spot is on, on the uh, board. And um, that'll be a very simple way to do it. Um, right now I have uh, a just a wire jumper um, that's going to act as my quote unquote switch, turn the PPI on and off. When it's on or connected to high, um, it will um, uh, operate in PPI mode. And when it's uh, set to low or discon uh, yeah, grounded to low, it will um, turn the PPI off. And all this will do is listen to the um, laser command pin 
and set the output appropriately. Um, and it just does that over and over and over again. Um, so right now I'm connected through USB and using the Arduino um, IDE to set my um, uh, PPI and uh, uh, pulse width through that. Um, the final board will also have USB and there are a couple people who have already said that they want to be able to communicate via I squared C or SPI to the board so I'll have to look into um, how to make that happen as well. So <clears throat> anyway, um, just thought I'd give a quick demo here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and turn my uh, laser on. I wouldn't recommend running your laser in general without the side panel on because uh, as you can see if your laser isn't aligned the laser will shoot right out the side of this uh, panel. But uh, anyway, I won't be there. I have uh, the fire extinguisher here and I check my alignment here. So um, I think it's pretty safe. So uh, yeah, here we go. Um, I guess the first thing I'll do is I'll run my standard test code, which is my, you know, what I call a Dutchman. Uh, so I'll go ahead and rewind that. And um, let's see here. I think I'm all set to go. So I'll just hit uh, cycle start. Okay. And you can see, oh, I'm sorry, this is uh, wired up with the to ground. So the laser is not flashing, it's on constant continuous wave right now. So it's just passing that signal around that comes straight through. So there you go. That was the continuous wave. So now what I'll do is change this so that it is going to high and that is set up correctly. Yep, third one down is high. Okay, so now that's in PPI mode and I'll go ahead and rewind the code again hit uh, cycle start and now you can see the laser is less intense and uh, when it gets into the corners it flashes a little bit I don't know if that's picking it up on the video but that is actually pulsing the laser uh, 400 millimeters a minute and uh, um, 400 ppi so that's it hope you enjoyed and uh, look forward to uh, uh, getting a uh, eventual board made so that people can make use of this.